Hi yogis, welcome to my 30 minute level 2 detox yoga practice. We'll start in Samastitihi at the top of your mat. Step your feet hip distance apart, bring your hands to heart center and gently close the eyes. For the next 30 minutes, set an intention to be completely here on your mat. Everything else can wait. This is your time, your cleansing, your detox, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Now, the more you can focus on a deep and present breath, the more you'll benefit from the detoxifying postures to come. If you take care of the exhalation, the inhalation takes care of itself. If you get rid of what is unwanted, you make space for what is needed. Open your eyes and find mountain pose. With soft shoulders, stand tall. Grab your left wrist and turn your left palm up to the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, dive to the right. Just tip at the waist and keep your heart spiraling up. Come back to center and switch your grip. Grab your right wrist, turn your right palm up, inhale, lengthen, Exhale, dive to the left. Keep equal distance between your ears and shoulders. And your right armpit dials up. Come back to center, then open arm twist to the right. Reach your right arm back, left arm forward. Keep your abs tight so your hip stays square to the front. Shoulder soft. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, open arm to the left. Press your left hip bone forward so you're only twisting from your waist and shoulders. Next, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, mini back bend. Cactus the arms and lift through your heart. Keep your hips pressing forward and breath calm. Next inhale, bring your hands to heart center. And exhale, just ground down. Inhale, mountain pose. Grab your left wrist at the top. Exhale, dive to the right. Inhale, mountain pose. Switch grip. Exhale, dive to the left. Come back, mountain pose. Open arm to the right. Inhale, mountain pose. Open arm to the left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, samastitihi, hands to heart center, and ground. One more time, mountain pose. Dive to the right. Mountain. Dive to the left. Mountain. Open arm right. Mountain. Open arm left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, samasitihi and ground. Now interlace your fingers behind your lower back, separate your feet mat distance, and forward fold with your chest expansion. When you get all the way down, relax your neck, press your knuckles up, and alternate between bending one knee and then the other. Release the hands and step back for a traditional chaturanga high to low plank. Keep your elbows pinching in as you lower and lead with your chest. Upward facing dog as you inhale, lift the knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
with a little movement to warm up the legs and chest. Next inhale, look up to your hands and bend your knees. As you exhale, step your feet to touch at the top of your mat. Halfway lift and roll the shoulders open. Find your flat back. Then forward fold. Take chair pose, Utkatasana, and sit back deep. Inhale. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Hook your elbow outside of your knees and keep your hips low. From here, perch your left foot on tippy toes. Then slowly and carefully step your left foot back so you're in revolved crescent lunge. Next is crescent lunge. Reach both hands up, inhale, and exhale, airplane the arms and launch into a full airplane pose. Keep your back leg really strong. Flex your toes to your face and drive through your heel. Now slowly lower your left hand down to the ground and reach your right hand high for revolved half moon. The back leg is still strong and active. Set your gaze and slowly step back into an open arm twist. Keep driving through your left heel. And then inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Take reverse warrior and add your half bind. Wrap your left arm around behind you to clasp onto clothing or onto your thigh. Now keep this half bind and move into extended side angle with the heart spiraling up and open. Let your legs and your strong core support you. Inhale, straighten both legs, reach both arms up and turn your right toes in. I'll call this three-pointed star, but that's not the correct term. So from here, pivot and take a low lunge at the back of your mat. Then step your back foot in for a forward fold all at once. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit deep. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Keep your hips low, heart open, and perch your right foot on tippy toes. Now slowly step it back into your revolved crescent lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, keep the back leg strong. Now airplane the arms and launch into a full airplane pose. Lower your right hand down, left hand high for evolved half moon. Keep your back leg strong and your gaze set. Then slow and controlled, step it back into your open arm twist. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Take reverse warrior and add your half bind. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle with the half bind. Lean back into your right shoulder blade and roll the right shoulder open. Next inhale, rise into your three-pointed star. And exhale, low lunge at the top of your mat. Then forward fold, step the back foot in. One breath, one movement. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit deep. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. As you inhale, perch your left toes. Then exhale, step it back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Both hands reach up 
and exhale, airplane launch. Revolved half moon as you inhale, left arm down, right arm high, then step it back as you exhale into your open arm twist. Crescent lunge, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse warrior, add your half bind. An extended side angle with the half bind. Inhale, three-pointed star. Exhale, forward fold at the back of your mat. Step it in. Half lift, inhale. Forward fold. Chair pose. Prayer twist to the left. Inhale, perch your right toes. Exhale, step it back. Crescent lunge. Airplane launch. Revolved half moon on the breath in. Step it back on the breath out. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse with the half bind. Extend with your half bind. Inhale, three-pointed star. Now plant your hands in chaturanga facing the top of your mat. Move slow to build strength and heat. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right away, inhale, look up, bend your knees, and exhale, step all the way through to a seated position for boat pose, Navasana. Bring your hands to heart center, lean back, lift your feet. Now inhale, exhale, twist to the left, and at the same time, straighten your right leg. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the right, and straighten your left leg. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. Just like that, bicycle boat. Keep going. Squeeze, rinse, twist with each side. Keep your heart lifting, your core strong. Just a couple more. And release, long body stretch. Now rock and roll shoot. Do your shoot or step or pause this video and learn how to rock and roll by clicking on the link on the screen or down below. Make your way to downward facing dog. From down dog, reach your right leg high, bend the knee and open your hips. Breathe into a big stretch. Then slowly step it through to a low lunge. Find warrior one with hips and shoulders square to the top of your mat. Interlace your hands behind your lower back for humble warrior. Inhale to roll the shoulders open. Exhale, hinge at your hips. Let your head hang heavy. Press your knuckles up or forward. Next inhale, rise, warrior one, release the hands, and exhale, open, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, add your half bind. Exhale, extended side angle, move into your full bind. Reach your right arm underneath to clasp onto your left fingertips, or you can dangle a towel or strap from your left hand for your right hand to grab. Keep your heart spiraling up even here. And try not to cave your chest towards the mat. Everything is up and open. Now slowly lower your right hand down inside of your right ankle, then plant your left hand shoulder distance for runner's lunge. Or if you'd like, a hurdler's practice. Runners, just let your head hang heavy, and hurdlers, challenge yourselves. 
For extra practice, I break this pose down in another video. It should be linked on the screen or in the info below. From your runners or hurdlers, step your back foot forward to mirror the right. With your feet mat distance, turn your toes out and squat low into a yogi squat. Shimmy around until your feet are flat. Then do your best to spiral the weight into the pinky side edges of your feet. Lift up through your heart. Forward fold with wide legs. For our peak pose, bird of paradise, reach your right arm through your legs for the back of the mat. Then reach your left hand up to the ceiling and into a half bind so you can touch your right thigh. Now clasp your hands to bind around your right thigh and you can always use a strap here to modify. Do your best not to bind through your groin. When you've made your bind, toe heel your left foot to the center of your mat. Use your core strength to glue your right thigh to your chest. Set your gaze and very slowly lift as one unit. When you come up to standing, use the bind to roll your shoulders open and stand proud. You can stay here or extend your right leg straight. But if you fall out, take your time coming right back in. Now lower slowly as one unit. Release the bind. Plant your hands and step your feet back for Chaturanga, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, lift out of the shoulders. Downward facing dog. Send your left leg high. Bend the knee and open the hips. With control, step it through to a low lunge. Inhale to rise for warrior one. And for humble warrior, interlace your hands behind your lower back. And then inhale to puff up through the chest. Exhale to hinge at the hips and fold. Relax your neck and jaw and press the mat away with your feet. Press your knuckles up and away from the hips. Next inhale, rise, release the hands, warrior one. Then open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, add your half bind. Exhale, extended side angle and move into your full bind practice. Now use the strap if it helps keeping your chest spiraling up. Eventually your hands may come together, or not. It really doesn't matter that much. Just understand and appreciate your practice and your body for exactly what it is today. Now lower your left hand down and inside of your left ankle. Place your right hand shoulder distance from the left and try your hurdlers or runners lunge practice. Runners, focus on opening through your hip flexor. And hurdlers, try to straighten out your left leg. Use the hip opening of either pose to prepare yourself for the bird of paradise to come. For Malasana or Yogi Squat, step your right foot to the top of your mat, separate your feet mat distance, and squat down low. Keep your hips low, but heart open. Sit tall through the crown of your head.
and forward fold with wide legs. For birds, reach your left arm through your legs for the back of your mat. Then reach your right arm up, with or without a strap, and make the half bind. Then connect to clasp fingers or a strap around your left thigh for the full bind. Twist so the bind is actually around your thigh. Then toe heel your right foot to the center of your mat. Perch up on your left tippy toes. Use your strong core and drishti to slowly rise. Once standing, use the bind to lift up and open through your heart. And if you'd like, straighten your left leg. Mindfully lower and release. Then step it back for one last chaturanga high to low plank. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Now drop down to your knees and place your hands on your lower back for a back bend, camel pose. Make sure your knees are hip distance apart and tuck your tailbone under and forward to lengthen your lower back. Now inhale to lift your gaze and heart up. As you exhale, slowly melt back. Relax the shoulders and let the chest open. Keep your hips pressing forward and keep breathing deep. Now slowly release and sit on your knees and heels. Close your eyes and let your rhythmic, calming breath wash away any sensation that may have bubbled up. Get rid of what is unwanted and you make space for what is needed. Come back to down dog. For half pigeon, inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right wrist and your ankle towards your left wrist. Keep your hips square and even as much as possible. Then surrender and allow your forehead to rest on something. Let the whole body soften and let the hips relax. It's totally normal for uncomfortable thoughts or feelings to bubble up in poses like this one. Do your best to just observe these thoughts instead of attaching to them. This is how you can let go and cleanse yourself from old habits, bad thoughts, and achy feelings. Start walking your hands back up and find downward facing dog. Pedal the legs, then switch sides. Inhale, left leg reaches high, exhale, half pigeon. Set it up the same way you did on the other side and do your best not to shift your weight off to one side or the other. Modify until you can get those hips square and surrender into whatever variation you took on the other side. Let the breath be so deep and present that it reminds you to observe and not attach to whatever bubbles up. Try not to bury your feelings. This is your time to cleanse. This is the time to use your breath to wash it all away. Come back to your final down dog of the practice. Pedal the legs, 
ground through strong hands. Then inhale, look up, bend the knees. Exhale, step all the way through to a seated position, then lie down on your back. Extend your heels up to the ceiling for legs up the wall, and you can stay here or move into plow pose by lifting the hips and sending your toes to touch the ground behind you. Plows, use your hands to support your lower and middle back. Position your hips above your shoulders as much as possible. One at a time, bend your knees so your legs are tucked in. And very slowly, so you can build strength, start reaching your feet up to the ceiling for shoulder stand. Wherever you are, feel the blood flow. Now bend your knees and with your hands supporting your back, slowly lower your hips back down to the mat and grab the inner arches of your feet for happy baby pose. Hold still or shimmy side to side. Release the feet and place your arms out like a T. Cross your right leg over the left, like eagle legs, and inhale, gaze to the right. Exhale, drop your knees to the left. Allow your body to find a place where you can let go and focus on creating a cleansing, deep breath. Come back to center and switch your eagle legs. So cross the left leg above the right. Inhale, gaze to the left. Exhale, knees to the right. Use your deep breath to rinse and twist the organs and muscles along the spine. Come back to center. Unwrap the legs and pull both knees in for a moment to stretch the lower back. Then release for your final posture, Shavasana. This is where you can absorb the benefits of your practice. This is where you can learn to just let go and be. So soften your body, relax. Allow your skin to open. Allow your ears to open. And let your mind open. Deepen your breath so much that it wakes up the physical body, causing you to stretch from your fingers to your toes. Roll over onto one side and press up into a seated position with your hands at heart center. If you take care of the exhalation, the inhalation takes care of itself. If you get rid of what is unwanted, you make space for what is needed. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. Do me a favor and click like if you enjoyed this practice. Let me know in the comments how else you're going to detox your body and mind today. Make sure to subscribe for free weekly uploads and find me on Facebook where I love to communicate with all of you the most. See you next Friday.